In the last episode of Battlecraft, I built this Pokemon Center, and it's very, very lovely, and it even has an interior. However, it is rather lonely. So in this episode, I'm going to change that. By the end of this video, I will have built out a whole starter town with different points of interest and a running theme. My name is Peeport. And welcome to Battlecraft. Oh, it's so good to be back on the Battlecraft. We've got Pokemons. Hi. We've also got Taxman. Hi, guys. What's going on? Hum, hum, hum. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. So it's been a hot minute since we've been here uh, for like the same as everything else. I had a little bit of a break and now we are actually more back than we have ever been before. I want to start building my gym. I want to start building my area, but I can't in good conscience just leave this. I can't leave this on its own. So I'm going to be building up the whole town and I have been preparing uh, by staying AFK in my house and letting bricks be made. Down here in my workshop, I have been bricking. There are so many stacks of bricks, and honestly, I probably should let it go for a little longer because uh, we're going to be building our whole town using bricks. We're going to have lots of brick houses. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be Victorian. It's going to be British. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, also, for some reason, there's a hole. There's a hole. But before we get into building, me and a couple of the new people on the server. Yeah, we got some new people on. How exciting. We went to go to the end because I needed some shulker boxes and also an elytra. Uh, I'm tired of running around. Look, I, it's, it's so tiring. I have to walk around and hear my footsteps all the time, which is very nice. But like, I, I, I kind of just want to uh, uh, run uh, running. I don't want to run out of stamina anymore. So me, Spidey and Drew went to the end to have a little bit of an adventure. All of the members, new and old, will be linked down in the description. So you can go and give them some support too. But also while you're down there, why don't you give the video a, a like and uh, maybe subscribe? I would really appreciate that. Thank you. This way, boys. This way. Let's go. Oh my gosh, an Imagine Dragon song? Hold on. What? The Imagine Dragons? The Nuclear Wasteland. This is Ultimate Rock Radio. Beep. Nothing but rock. I'm breaking Please, Imagine in. Imagine Dragons. <laughs> the hardest rock only. Only the hardest of rocks. Was it down here? Is it safe? All right. Kind yep. of. Just make sure you fall straight. Okay, cool. Ooh, pretty. With your fancy wings. Hold on. I'm, I'm... Yeah, no. Peep might have to be brought up with some with some stairs, I... some scaffolding. Yeah. But I also found we'll get you this. What's this? Up. Ender shard. Yeah, there's a lot of weird things. I found my new favorite block in here, though. Yeah. I just need some. Oh, you're having a party? Why don't you invite me? I'm Come so on. sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I just needed the party favors, if I'm going to be honest with you. There's a full on Metagross out. here. There is? Yeah, there's a Metagross yeah. that just spawned right here. Sorry, though, you know? I think Beldum spawns Doom. quite frequently. Doom. Wait, backpacks. an Enderman with a oh, backpack? Yeah. He's got a creeper backpack on. Oh, I looked at his what? head. I looked at my wax and help. <laughs> help. <laughs> Please kill him. I need that backpack. <laughs> help. Come here. He's going on a field trip. I'm, I'm preoccupied with the Metagross or else I'd help. He's from the Outer Islands, you know. He's just having a little trip here. Hey, we'll creeper, away. creeper backpack. Okay, if player is going to die, damage. creates explosion which damages every creature around, granting player absorption, regeneration, and fire protection effects. That seems pretty good. Two shakes. That's pretty cool. Pretty epic. It looks like a monk. Two, three. Fruit salad. Do, do, do. Yummy, yummy. Do, do, do. Yummy, 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 yummy. Fruit salad. <laughs> okay, I see you with the decidui. It's my babushka. <laughs> I'll yeah, you open up your let's go. Beldum's screen. Oh, who looked? That who was looked? me. Drew. Uh, it might have been me. <laughs> get in there. We're just, we're just get gonna out. go out. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm cranking. I'm cranking the render distance up for this. Creeper. Oh, oh man. So we're I back in the mine. Oh, Power, I looked. Power I looked. I looked. I looked. Bad news. Bad news. Bad news. <laughs> All right. Looked. Here, let me show you guys my my new weapon. 
Ah, <laughs> you, you hit him into me. Into <laughs> not cool. Yeah. No, no. So we're playing ping pong. Like <laughs> now this isn't just any regular axe. Uh -huh. If I hit him, whoa! It's called the blazing hatchet. It Ooh. has it essentially has knockback, sweeping edge, and fire aspect on it, Where'd even though it's not that? enchanted at all. I got in the Nether. Of course, my favorite blocks that I've found in this modded end are all in the like the most difficult biome to get through. <laughs> the little cakes. Be careful around here, peep. I, I I saw that there was there's flowers. There's like some dark dim no there's some dark demented zombies that'll pop up. Oh fantastic! Yeah, oh. these trees are awesome though. These and trees, the wood are awesome. that they provide dragon is really cool too. Dragon tree log. Ooh, what's this? It looks like a a big avatar tree. Yeah, they kind of do. Whoa, there's a like a floating island above it too. Is it, or is that a, just a tree? That's a big one. There's a little water thing. They got end lilies. <laughs> Ow! Oh, jellyfish hurt. The jellyfish hurt. It's so this big. Is a huge mushroom. I want to put my ponytail into it. Connect with the nature. Uh, what is this? Uh, end crystal. A thalassium sword. That's pretty epic. Oh, a music disc. Two oh, music like discs. I, th I thought this was like the door, but I couldn't really see through it. That's okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I thought it was a staircase. I didn't see that it was a door. Oh, wow. This is sick. Yeah. I, have, I have no idea what the mod entails to like activate this. It looks like there's pedestals you probably need to place things on. It looks like but... a stargate. Yeah, I'm sure there's like some sort of war books or whatever oh, you yeah. need to find to like understand more of what's happening. The low. I think Drew should be the head of finding those books because he's Drew Lordy. Nice. Oh no. Nice. Good <laughs> pun. My name has come back to bite me in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the jellyfish. I just wish they weren't so stingy. Wow, Say hello to my weird. little friend. <laughs> I don't want to say hello to him. He's mean. <laughs> I don't like him. He don't hurt me. Okay. So I'm breaking yeah, the Yeah, just place a line of them down. I'm breaking the pink ones. Well, they're all they're all the, the same. Oh. No matter what color it is. Oh, and they it's also just... give off light. Oh yeah. my goodness. See, look look at the gradient. Oh. They just changed color all the way through. I can't imagine how hard this was to program. Uh, this is more important than shulker boxes and It really is, though. You're right, I don't know <gasps> you well enough yet. Oh, oh my gosh, peep. I whiffed Danger. it. I whiffed it. Oh my gosh. I whiffed it You're a little bit. You're the one without elytra. You should not be doing that. You don't, you don't know this about me. In the end, I am uncontrollable. Yeah, I can tell. I'm a loose cannon. Let me in. Let me in, man. Uh, uh, no. no, no, don't, don't, you're not allowed in, young lad. <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? No. Don't phase through the wall. No. Dad? Ah, my needle yes. grass garden. It's ruined. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're stepping all over my plots. Oh, this is so pretty. What are these? M Menger sponges. Oh, hey, you made it. I did. I found more. A smithing template combined with leather handle. Uh, you did not look here, though. Assemble sword? There's so many Wait, templates. what? Hold up. You must have found a different chest than the, the one I found. Maybe. Oh, shulker shells! Let's go! And rockets. No and I also found something that might be very important. An eternal ruined flavorite. Which uh, I'm, I think that's... I'm assuming that goes in the, the thingy. The portal thing, yeah. This enderman has got a chicken backpack dudes. and I require it. <laughs> Give me. Have you ever wanted to be a chicken? No? Well, now you are. You'll lay eggs. <laughs> Is that really the description for the backpack? I think if you wear the <laughs> backpack, you lay eggs. That is amazing. I'm going to try this immediately. I genuinely just laid an egg. <laughs> oh, I've got an AFK at my farm. What are you making? Eggs. Egg. You have a chicken? No, it's just me. It's just me. I am, I I am, am the farm. The farm. <laughs> I am become farm. Producer of eggs. Oh, there's another ruin over there. There you go. Uh, oh, okay. <gasps> okay. Uh, I'm at the NC. Oh, oh diamond tier upgrade. The, the elytra duplicated. I just got a second elytra. Ooh. 
you too. That's honestly very good. <laughs> I can't tell I what <laughs> I can't tell which one is the, which. <laughs> the shulker uh, voice actor here. Uh, originally, they did uh, approach me to do the shulker voice. Yeah, I actually happen to be a multi-millionaire. Don't I think I'm it. lagging real bad. Yeah, yeah I'm lagging is... very bad. Because I just destroyed... There yep. it is. Timed <laughs> out. Yep. Good, uh, good end rating session, huh? Good end raid. We're in <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at all these wonderful goodies we found. There is so much stuff here that I don't really understand yet. You have to make, like, tools with smithing tables and stuff. It really makes me want to kind of explore the end more because there's a lot of cool stuff in there that I would really like to kind of get to know better. It's like it's a person. I want to shake its hand. I want to shake its hand. I want to grasp it firmly. I want to, I want to give it a good shake. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. It's really, really, really beautiful there. And also we have the better nether as well, uh, which I'm scared about. So I'm going to leave that for, for just a little bit. But I do want to kind of explore the end, look at all the tools. There is some stuff that I find interesting and there are some secrets to be found in there. It's going to be great. But now we can start working on working on the town because... Uh, I, 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 I don't know about you, but you can probably see that there is a lot of space. I need to fill it up. And how am I going to fill it up? Uh, with materials that I need to go and find. Uh, I'm probably going to do a stream, honestly. Do a little stream, collect some materials, collect them all. And just uh, what I want to do is I want to build up uh, a building at a time. I've got two main buildings that I want to build up that are going to be here and here. So this is a, the kind of starter town for the server. So I want to kind of build up some cool little sites that will make sense in not just a kind of actual real life town, but also a Pokemon town. And I think we're going to start over here. So what do we need in the Pokemon town that isn't a Pokemon center? What kind of goes together? That's right. We're going to have a Pokemon Mart. And we're, by Mart, I mean we're going to have an entire market. So I'm going to get some materials and we're going to build up this little thing here. There's going to be quite a few time lapses in this episode. I hope that's okay. Uh, I just... I just like building, I guess. I, I don't have any more excuse. I just I just enjoy the building. I just want to show this. This is this is not really for you, honestly. This is for me. It's something that I thought is really cool. Uh, we update chipped mod, and uh, I love chipped. And we've got a new uh, UI, which is pretty pretty epic. But also, if you select this, okay. So I, I need the the I need a pillar, pillar brick brick, pillar pillar brick 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 pillar brick pillar. Brick. Pillar brick. Okay, you could search them. Okay, that that is also very helpful. Pillar brick. Pillar brick brick. There we go. And then if you shift, you can craft all of them in your inventory. You don't have to do it every single time for every stack. Very nice. Thank you very much for that chipped mod. That very nice. Uh, what's this? This is just in the. This is just in the middle of the Nether. Uh, I'm getting loads of achievements, huh? In the in the. In the in the golden age, a great king ruled this castle, but he was betrayed, cursed, and exiled from his kingdom. This is what remains. That's pretty epic. That's pretty epic, Ponyta. Oh no, stinky. Yeah, this place is weird. Look, they've got the upside down trees. I don't even know how far it goes up. It goes into like fog, creepy, crazy. It's been two days. Two days! I've made like a little, like, four of all the different workbenches and tables from Chipmod because I had to use them so much. Uh, so I took them all from my house and I've made myself a, a little uh, room out here. Uh, but I, uh, the shulker boxes came in use. So many materials to build with. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. So, uh, I guess I, I just gotta build stuff. So I started out with a simple base and then I started pillaring up with this green concrete that I thought looked a lot like painted iron that is very prevalent in these kinds of builds. And then I put a roof on top made of glass pane so it looked kind of like a greenhouse. And then Rob showed up, so he wanted to interview me for a little bit. So you're gonna see him while I put down the floor, uh, here. And then I built up some market stalls and a little cafe at the end there. Oh, how cute.
I would like to preface this very quickly by saying I know that people get annoyed with the whole like 3D printed light matter stuff, uh, but I tried not to do that and it took so much longer than if I were to do that. So I'm sorry, but that's just how I'm going to be building. You want to see it 3D printed with light matter? Good. Because uh, because I'm that's what I'm going to be doing because this, this took me way too long <laughs> without doing it. It's lovely. Um, we're not going to talk about it too much because, you know, I just spent however long talking about it already. There's actually like more than one building happening, which is very, very cool indeed. So what I'm going to do next is I guess I'm just going to do another building over here. This is the other main building. So I guess uh, carry on with the music, I guess. Yeah, yeah, carry on. <laughs> Okay, so here I am placing a little bit of road uh, that lines up with the school, the new school to cool five school. And I think the school is pretty cool. It's uh, it's very British, uh, bricky to match with all the other stuff that's going to be built. I've got a little playground here and it's missing a few details that I'm going to add once I add the details to the rest of the town here. And that's all I really have to do. I'm aware that the school doesn't have an interior right now. It's just kind of a, a thing. If I get time, I will do an interior, but uh, it's taken me a, a long time. It's uh, it's Wednesday today and I want to get this video out for Friday. So uh, I still got lots to do, uh, Baneri, but I guess I can just build up the rest of the, the buildings here, the little houses. I have a little little houses here, a house is running all the way down here, and we've got another thing to go over there. So I'm just going to build it. And I'm not going to do a time lapse per se, maybe just a little montage, just to shake it up a little bit, because there's there's been a lot of building, a lot of building. So I'll just let you kind of calm down, relax, and just watch this little building montage. Does that sound good? Glad to tell you that we already have customers at the market uh, restaurant. Hello, gentlemen. Ow! Uh, they seem to be a bit of a, a rowdy lot, so I'm not not too sure. You know. Oh, well, these classic Englishmen. Look at them. Ow! 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 And here we have it. The finished village. Almost so very close. I have a lot of details that I need to put in. Like the buildings are very good, but there's just no life to it yet. We need to put some street lamps and we need to do some, I want to do some zebra crossings. Um, I've also made a pillager farm. Somehow they 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 get caught in the market. I'm going to go and finish all the rest of the detailing kind of off camera, but I do want to show you some of the things that I have been building, which are very nice. Uh, I want to show you some of the details anyway. So what we're going to do is first we're going to make a little street lamp and that's very, very nice. Um, we did have supplementaries on, but then they changed the the way that lanterns can hang on a wall or a post. So I've had to alter the design a little bit, but if we come up here, we have the polished andesite wall and then we can have these andesite posts. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can get these andesite support wedges and we put one on top like that and then one attaching to it. And then if we come down here, 
and we get one of these yellow andesite cage lamps. We can just pop it on like that, switch it on, and it looks like a little street lamp. And we're going to have loads of these dotted around, and it also just lights up the place so mobs won't spawn. So it's a really nice design, and we also get the benefits of it, which is really, really cool. Now, I'm going to have to be very careful of these guys, but I need to come over here so I can make a little zebra crossing. I'll just hide from you there. So we've got the area where the person would walk over. We've got the little textured blocks here so blind people can sense when they're next to the road. And then we're going to put these posts up like this in a, in, a, in a black and white design. You can put posts sideways. Hold on. This changes everything. That's okay. We'll get around to that later. And then we can put the little table lamps on top. So it looks like the little yellow bulbs on top of the zebra crossing. Uh, this is very cute. I like that. And also it does light it up as well. So we've got a lot of lighting that is also aesthetics, which I, I really love. And then over here, I've been preparing a hole so I can put uh, some andesite around here. And I wanted to make a little kind of drainage drain. Drainage drain? Drain? One of the things. Um, so, so where the water builds up, on the road it has somewhere to go down and speaking of going down the sun is going down so what i've got is i've got one of these create item drains and yeah it just it just looks like a drain like that's where the water goes down into into the sewer and stuff uh i don't know how drains work but yeah that's a very cool detail i like that i don't want to go through all the details that i have planned because then walking around it at the end of the video won't have the same impact i want to show lots of new things and lots of cool things uh, especially in the playground and all the way around here uh we're gonna make some gardens in front of the houses so i'm gonna just go and build that's okay with you i've done a lot of building this episode and i hope you're okay with that but i just i just wanted to do a lot of building and want to get it done so yeah i hope you've been enjoying i'm so happy i'm finally able to do this not not that part get rid of all of these benches and tables Everything's cleared out because the village is done on the exterior, but I, I think you'll be fine with that, right? You don't really you don't really care about the interiors being done. Maybe you do. Uh, if you do, I'm very sorry. Please, uh, please send me a strongly worded letter. Uh, I'm not going to give you the address, but you can do that. So it seems we already have some customers at the cafe. Uh, this is what I was hoping would happen and not the pillagers. So I'm glad that that's happened. Uh, yeah, the pillagers, they just, they, they went, they went away of their own accord. It was, it was all them, but I'm so happy. Let's do a, let's do a quick little before and after with shaders. Oh, lovely. Wow. Look at all that change uh, that I'm currently seeing. Wow. I'm so happy with everything. This has all turned out so nicely. We've got some amazing details that I've added, like these, uh, like I explained earlier. And there's some other things that I've also added, uh, mainly over here in the playground. So we've got some places for the kids to sit and eat their lunch. And we've got a slide uh, using, uh, using the belt from Create. I thought that was pretty cool. It's like, uh, you can come up here, you can... Uh, it's a shame that the belt doesn't isn't powered but you know i need it to look like an actual slide and not a contraption and then as you can see uh, i made some drawings uh, I, I drew some very crudely uh, drawn pokemon and i've used immersive paintings to kind of make it look like chalk drawings uh, that the kids would do on the floor, but I made them Pokemon. So we got a Voltorb, we got a Horsey, and we got a Fampy, and we've also got Hopscotch over here. That's not a Pokemon, but it's a Hopscotch. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you. I really appreciate you. And uh, I would really love to know what kind of names you guys have for this town, because this is a starter town, and we need to think of a name for the town. So if you want to put some suggestions down in the comments, I would really appreciate that. I've got some uh, ideas floating around there, but nothing concrete, and your guys' help would be greatly appreciated. But I'm going to stand here next to this beautiful Vindicator trophy statue that is kind of in the middle of the roundabout, because I have some exciting news uh, for you who have stayed to the end of the video. Have you ever wanted to wear my face on yourself? Uh, well, you're in luck because there is now Peeporp merch. 
uh, it's only a couple of bits of merch, but you know, there's some t-shirts and there's a hoodie and there's some stickers and there's, uh, uh, it's, it's great. It's great. I've been like kind of sat on it for a little bit because I've been wondering when to release it, but it, I'm, it, I guess now that this video is out, so are those shirts. Uh, so if you, if you're interested in people merch, follow the link down in the description. That'd be pretty epic. Uh, thank you. For let me do this i uh, appreciate you very much so i'm very happy with the progress that we made today i'm just having a little drive around it just to show you that it, it could be driven around wow but this is gonna be the end of the video here i really hope you enjoyed the journey that we went on uh building all of this it was great fun i had a lot of fun uh spent a lot of time uh so yeah if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, put some comments down below. Want to see some some names of the place and also what you think of the build. That would be very much appreciated. Uh, I'm doing reversing right now. But this has been another episode of Battlecraft uh, on the Battlecraft SMP. Uh, my name is Peeporp, and I shall see you uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. All right? Okay. Uh, love you. Bye.